Hey, this is Maginoni, and uh, let's do another comparison between which comics were better this week between the Rebirths and Civil War IIs. Now, I have mixed feelings with everything in this one. Uh, let's start off with Batman uh, Detective 937. This is the continuation of how there's that secret military or force that's basically making Batman out of soldiers and they took out Batman and they went after the you know Batman and his amazing friends well this issue wasn't too bad at all overall I mean I think so far detective has been a really strong series and this really is flushing out what's going on with the other side the enemy so for that part I, I can appreciate that uh, next issue is gonna be the big battle issue so overall I would say this this still is maintaining a high degree of quality. The art is good, and um, overall, also I'm very pleased with this. Now, Wonder Woman 3. This one, it had me con it had me wondering at times, is there uh, the is there some sort of relationship going on between these two people? Because, you know, it's, you know, one minute there's like, I hate you, I'm going to kill you. All right, I'll go help you. And they're hugging each other. And I'm just like, you know, I think we need, you know, to make maybe make this book an R-rated book or something like that to get the true story of what's going on. Uh, the, art is, the art is good overall. The, I mean, the story was just okay, but it was just kind of this relationship dynamic is probably going to make people wonder what's really going on or is this some you know like adolescent fantasy type thing that they're trying to play out all right nightwing number one now i read the first the nightwing rebirth issue which is pretty much just putting nightwing back in the in his place within the dc universe and this is his first issue um actually doing something uh he, the Court of Owls still believes they have him under their um, control, but he's broken free of that, and he's just basically playing along to basically go in deeper and then dismantle them. The story is just okay. It's, you know, I've seen this exact dialogue so many times, you know, between Nightwing and the Court of Owls. It's kind of like, you know, when I start reading it, I just start zoning out because it's like, you know, you're not adding anything interesting to it. So that part was a little bit of a disappointment. I think overall Nightwing is still a decent book, though. But there's just that one part in the middle I didn't like that much. This book sucked. I'm, not, I'm just going to blade out there. Now, Batgirl is basically, she's on the trail of some guys. She finds out that somebody's taken her name Oracle and is doing some, you know, bad things with it. So she enlists the aid of uh, Black Canary to help her. And it's just, you know, when you're, and they give you the history of, you know, Barbara Gordon where here she was, she was a younger person, she became bad girl, the Joker got involved, you know, they, her back got healed and then she's bad girl again. And this timeline just doesn't even seem close, remotely being correct. You know, and I'm just, I don't know, I'm just, I just wasn't pleased with this book at all. Um, I'm not pleased with the way they're handling Black Canary. Um, Huntress coming in was in, was probably the best part, but then now they're acting like they don't know each other type thing. And I'm just like, I'm through with this book already. Titan's Rebirth. Now, this here had another one of those troublesome, troubling, not trouble, uh, troubling pages. Um, if you, if, for guys who have no girls who read boys love manga, eventually you see images that you just get scarred into your brain. And this right here, is an image that they lifted from a boy's love manga. That's all I gotta say about that part. Now, the rest is basically them trying to figure out what's going on, and then they introduce their new villain. It's kind of an interesting way of how they're doing it in the sense that 
Wally thought of somebody, and then that person suddenly got their memories and powers type thing. So there's, they're probably going to, you're going to probably see this a lot more often as they start filling out their universe again. Um, the odd thing is they're the only ones that know that there's something going on, which I'm feeling they're just going to forget about for a while at least. Because, you know, it's, everybody else is not going to be up to speed on that. Red Hood and the Outlaws. Okay, this is basically one of those, again, it's they're putting Jason Todd back into the new universe, and they're telling his, retelling his origin, giving you the rundown between his relationship with Batman, and, um, and basically starting him on his adventure. Now, the art I thought was pretty good overall. For me, it's like I've seen this origin how many times, so it's kind of like, no oh, hum again. But I get it, you know, there's people who probably don't know. And they're just filling in those people. So that's, that's part's not the complaint. Overall, I think it's a, it was a decent read. But I'm just probably not going to pick it up, though. There's just too many books, and I can't be spending, like, as much money as I spent here every month. So it's not going to make the cut. Civil War Two. I expected more. You know, this is supposed to be the big issue where sides are drawn and something happens well okay stuff happens along the way you know Tony figures out how this thing works Ulysses works it's more like a mathematical formula so you know mathematical formula the way his brain is designed it's not always going to work exactly right it's just that they've been lucky so far now the catalyst though is uh, they capture a woman who is, they said she's going to be a terrorist. She's working with Hydra. And they basically arrest her. They, she's carrying a briefcase with nothing in it. And they're holding her in, you know, shield jail for a long time. And they're just you're interrogating her. And she's like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, that's when the other superheroes step up and rescue her and then that's where things go you know where the big battle is going to start from now we also get to learn the is Hawkeye guilty or not and that was to me that was not a surprise I kind of expected that route was going to happen especially with the history of the Hulk and there's also a nice little dialogue with the Illuminati I mean it's not quite the Illuminati but just imagine that where Tony lays all the cards out and says, look, this is what's going on. And Carol's the only one who's really... I mean, obviously the Inhumans aren't... Blind. I mean, the humans are obviously going to be on her side because Ulysses is inhuman, but she's totally blinded by the ch the chance of failure that this guy might throw away, you know, lock away innocent people. So overall, I mean, it's it was not that fantastic of a book. Uh... New Avengers, Civil War Two, very minor on Civil War, very big on the evil doc, ultimate Dr. Reed Richards. Now, I think, if anything, the only thing that really saved the book is the surprise new mutant who appears at the end. Other than that, it was just kind of... I guess you can say this by now, it's a guilty pleasure that I keep buying this. Because I don't like it. I want to see evil Reed... And that's the only thing that's drawing me in. But the last page drew me in again. So I'll probably get the next issue. Civil War 2, Miss Marvel. Now, this is where Kamala is starting to question her belief in. Is Carol correct or, or not? Now, the odd thing is, you know, she's 100% behind Carol. Until her friend gets Call, you know, picked up for a, you know a, for a crime he hasn't committed, and he had even admits, well, you know, I was thinking about doing that, but I wasn't doing it because I was trying to be a terrorist. I was trying to do it because I wanted people to know how I was suffering, but I didn't want people to get hurt, type thing. So he's kind of like at a loss as to like what's going on and how he's being labeled and treated. So Kamala is stuck. I mean, overall, it's. I mean, this is still one of the best 
Marvel books out there. And in a way, this really shows you how, and I guess you can say it's how, when you take these political type stands, stances, it's very easy to pick one side or the other. But the second it impacts you in some way, shape, or form, it makes you question, you know, your, your belief. This was a complete waste of time. Utter waste of time. Because it's Carol talking to all those government people and it getting everybody up to speed as to what's going on. Oh, they throw in a super villain battle just because, you know, they have to do that. And overall, art was... Yeah, I'll just like, pull out the art. I wasn't happy with the art in general. And also, I'm just not happy with this issue at all. That's a complete waste. I shouldn't have bought it. But I thought, no, I got to get this one because, you know, it's it's Captain Marvel. She's dealing directly with the Civil War thing. And, I mean, yeah, you can argue this is very important information because it's her dealing with the government and explaining things. But it's kind of like we've already done this the last issue. I mean, I've seen this stuff already. So let's just move on. But, no, we get another issue of it. So, anyways, which is better? You know, this is a mixed bag here. I think, as a whole, there's only one good Civil War book, which was this one. Now, out of the DC side, you know, there was Detective, which was good. Detective was was really good. You know, you have Wonder Woman, which was a Wonder Woman was good. It's just kind of like, what's going on over that relationship? And um, this was the only one that was just really, I I don't even want to deal with it. So as a whole, I'd have to say DC Rebirth actually did fairly, fairly well this week so overall. So good job to them. They're on they're on a roll. Uh, I think as a whole, a lot of these books are good for right now, but we'll see how well they last on the stand or the test of time. Anyways, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Um, what did you guys think? What did you guys think of Civil War Two this week? Did you think it was great, bad? Uh, we'll have some more reviews later. Like, share, and until next time.